This video and others like this one are possible thanks to viewers like you. Please show your support with a like and subscribe, and be sure to hit the bell notification icon so you don't miss any new videos. If you want to get involved with the channel, consider becoming a channel member. There are many benefits to channel membership, including access to our Discord, exclusive deck tech and strategy videos, and the opportunity to help create channel content. I want to sincerely thank all our channel members, as I truly couldn't do this without your support. You guys rock. Go Commando! Hey there, Star Wars Legion folks. Thanks for tuning in today. I have kind of a follow-up video to the Agent Callus video that I did a, a few days ago, kind of talking about him and why I was excited. Uh, some of the feedback I got from that video was that uh, playing him without his bow staff, there wasn't really a reason to do so. And, and I think that's fair feedback. Uh, and I'd kind of planned on doing a theory crafting uh, episode on, on him anyway to see how he could fit into my current list. So I figured let's go ahead and do that today. And instead, we'll, or not instead, but in addition, we'll look at a couple different builds, one with his bow staff, one not. And we'll see how we can fit him in and really what we can do with him. And, and if I think he's going to end up working uh, out for my skirmish list going forward. All right, guys, we are over at Tabletop Admiral. I have my current uh, list built here, so let's let's just go ahead and go through it. Uh, I have a naked General Veers. Um, he's coming in right at 80 points. His main, I mean, he's not attacking as much with those white die. Uh, remember, he does have a red defend die, which, which is not bad. He's a 5-2, but he's got that spotter, which gives dodge and an aim, which, which is not irrelevant. Um, now, in the previous version of this list, I had actually played... Um, situational awareness on, on Boba. Uh, part of the reason was you can give that dodge token, right? Now, do keep in mind it's a range one of here, so a lot of times Boba's kind of out on his own doing stuff. Now, I also uh, completely acknowledge Boba Fett. Let's go ahead and click on him. Boba Fett is not a hugely popular character. Um, I I mean, I'll be, I'll be frank. He, one of the characters that I've always liked, he was the first guy that I bought in Legion. I actually bought him before I was playing Legion, just because I wanted the miniature. Uh, I, I want a list with Boba, right? I want him out there. He's also, uh, I painted him up. I did a good job on him, very happy with him. So I, I want him in my list. That's that's why he's there, is for fan flavor. Uh, on top of that, we have two units of Shore Troopers, because why would we not? Um, one is running, uh, one has the Extra Dude and the T21 Bravo. Uh, the other unit is not, they have, they have the open personnel slot because I needed the 10 points with the D21 Bravo as well, of course. And then I have a squad of IDTs, Imperial Death Troopers, with the Sniper version. Um, so that comes in total at 499 points. Um, there's a little bit of like back and forth you can do here, right? The Running the Sniper on the Imperial Death Troopers is kind of an interesting choice because you kind of like sometimes in skirmish right because again there's a skirmish list sometimes in the skirmish list the sniper really only is completely effective for one round kind of that opening round and um a lot of the times i've it, I, i've i've also played versions of this list where they actually play the gun so that's where i identify the majority of our points being willing to or being able to be flexible so all right, let's go ahead and get started on the chat here. So Agent Callus is 90 points, so it's a plus 10 on Veers. So let's get rid of Veers and add Callus. okay? Now, where he is right now, that puts us at 509, okay? So now this, for to start, let's go ahead and look at Callus alone uh, without his uh, bow rifle staff, okay? So, I mean, I think that's the first thing, right, is we go ahead and we kill the trooper, and that gives us 25 free points, so we can arm it up. And let's go ahead and do this. We'll go with the grenade launcher config. So remember, they have the focus fire config, which is 1 to 4 with black, which is not a horrible option. Uh, do keep in mind the death troopers, though. They only have four guys here without our extra guy. So um, there's there's a couple options here. We can go 22 with DTF-16 and actually get that other guy. Remember, he's the he becomes your um, your leader. Uh, they do get compelled, so that's not a horrible option, right? So we could go with him. Um, however, kind of in skirmish, it's not hard to get up close, right? So I'm kind of leaning towards going with the grenade launcher config and turning everything into a red die with, that ignores cover at range one to two. I mean, that's pretty that's pretty brutal, right? So I, I think that's where I want to go. 
and that leaves us with 17 points. So we can go another dude here. So that's two full sh uh, shore squads with the T21B. All right, let's bring that up just to remind me that's a hell of a gun, right? Um, and then that gives us seven points to play around with command cards and training cards. Um, so that, that gives us a little bit of flexibility, right? There's there's a number of commands. I, I often, I like running esteemed to help kind of take hits for him. Uh, that's not a that's not a super great one, and I don't know if I would do that on this one because the short troopers are pretty good, right? Um, however, I mean, you, you could, and then there's, of course, there's strict orders too. And I do remember that Callus, a lot of his command cards actually do issue multiple orders. And since you're going to be in kind of mixing it up with him and kind of that shooty, choppy thing, he'll be by your other guys. So I don't know that uh, doing strict orders is that bad of a deal. So let's let's go ahead and just throw it in kind of as that five-point placeholder. And that gives us uh, two points to kind of give a, a training on on somebody if, if we want it. Um, you know, situational is two. We could gear for two. I, I don't know about that. Um, you could get recon intel actually for some scouting too if you wanted. So um, yeah, a little flexibility there that we could play around with. So now let's let's back up and let's take this off. Take the strict orders off. Let's get out of that on Boba. All right, so let's um, take that off. So that again puts us at fifteen. Uh, well, well, I mean that right there. Actually, wow, that's crazy. That actually works out perfect. So that's exactly the 25 we needed. How did I not know that was going to be that easy? All right, so that lets us put the bow rifle on Kala. So rifle on Kala, so bear boba. Uh, back to the same config of a four-man, well, five-man with the Bravo and a six-man with the Bravo. And then a blank IDTs. I don't know how I feel about a blank IDTs. That was the problem. I don't know how I feel. I mean, isn't... Hmm. So remember the Imperial Death Troopers. I mean, they only have one health, but they're they're better. So we're trading. I don't know. We're trading a health though to do that to put the grenade launcher because I, I really want to try the IDTs with the grenade launcher. Um. Interesting. I mean, the other thing we could do here. So remember, we have one of, uh, I'll, I'll put it up, one of Callus's, it's the basically the focus fire command card, deals with the amount of suppression on somebody. So I wouldn't, I wonder, let's go ahead and kill this shore squad and we'll go with the uh, mortar team, right? Because we can run one mortar team and that's 38 points. That gets us a ton back, right? That gets us 50 points back and we could actually then grenade launcher, Man, for 50 points, we could almost run a Stormtrooper squad. Oh, man, there's a lot of options here, actually. We're kind of off in the weeds right now. Oh, but then we, do, oh, but then we don't get the armament. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So that's 41 points that are available for us. Oh, man. I wonder if killing the shore to run the stormtroopers. I mean, they shoot the white, but a surgery. Oh, very interesting. Um, no, so, okay. So yeah, we're definitely off in the weeds and kind of floundering around here uh, for sure. The the mortar trooper, I think, does work really well with that specific command card, but I, I think we're going to go ahead. It'll be easier to copy and then drop. So that puts us at 508. We're exactly over on the grenade launcher. Um, I mean, the easy answer here is to drop Boba, and it gives you a lot more flexibility, but I don't want to do that. I want to run Kalos. I want to run Boba. I want Boba on the table. I want my Shores on the table, and I want my IDT on the table. Um, I think, actually, I know it's one overall hit point, but I think running that, I think running that's better, I think. So we have two squads of four-man Shores with the Heavy, and we have a four-man death with the f uh, grenade with the grenade launcher, a boba and a callus with the bow rifle. You know, I think that's what I'm going to go with because um, I like this. We have callus with the bow rifle. 
and he can mix it up in multiple different ways. He looks really cool. So yeah, okay, I think that's the final list. So just to cap it off, we're gonna go Kalos with the bow rifle. Uh, we do have two extra points. Actually, we could play around with um, probably some sort of, uh, you know, actually the, um, what is it, the gear, actually, actually it's the gear slot is Recon Intel. That's probably not a horrible one because you can put uh, Kalos kind of in position in the right type of army to kind of lock some people down or against the right type of army, lock people down. So that's actually not a horrible idea either. Um, okay, so we have Kalos with Recon and his big old bow staff rifle. We have Boba Fett. We have two squads of Shores with the T21 Bravo, no extra dude. And we have the IDTs with the grenade launcher config. Um, yeah, so I think that's what we're gonna go with. Um, yeah, so interesting. Uh, you, saw, you saw how we could totally go off and do, I mean, a lot of options, obviously. Um, there's an argument, I mean, there's certainly an argument to me to do both, but like I said, that's not what I want to do. So anyway, thanks for joining me for this, you know, kind of crazy fun chat on just kind of theory crafting with Callus on my list. I think he's certainly going to work. He's, I'm definitely going to pick him up and uh, play around with him, getting him on the table. So thanks guys for joining me again. Don't forget about the getaway. We're actually running out of days here in February, so we're getting close. But yeah, you publicly subscribe, you like and comment on any one of the videos or on one of the Star Wars Legion videos, and you're eligible to win our giveaway this month. So Thanks, guys, for joining me. If nothing else, go Commando.